Ever wondered what a Genesis weapon is? Why it is best in slot? Well, you're in the right place. A Genesis weapon is obtained through 8 months of work. In order to face the Black Mage, you have to reach level 255 and clear the Lemina pre-quest. You also have to accept a quest that asks you to defeat the Black Mage. Make sure this quest is active before you go any further, otherwise you clear Black Mage for no reason at all. Also, don't forget to check out my Black Mage Guide video on how to defeat the boss. Once you defeat the boss, you will be able to obtain a CO Genesis weapon. This weapon is basically useless until it is fully liberated. You don't cube, enhance, flame, scroll, or do anything to this weapon. If you do, they will be reset when it comes time for liberation. This weapon is basically used for anvils and your first few liberation quests. How Black Mage Liberation works is you have to defeat Black Mage first, get the CO Genesis weapon, defeat one of his commanders after with certain conditions and restrictions added into your fight, then accept a new quest for the next fight and repeat the cycle. The first commander is Von Leon and you have to kill him with only a CO Genesis weapon, final damage reduction and other sorts of things, and your secondary, stripping all of your other equips. Once you've defeated him, you will be able to accept the next quest to fight the second commander, Normal Aquarium. At the same time, you must defeat Black Mage again to obtain a Black Mage Remnant. The order doesn't really matter in terms of if you want to do Aquarium first or defeat Black Mage first for the second time before you move on to the next Genesis slash commander quest but they have to be done otherwise you will not be able to move on to your next liberation quest the cycle repeats for the next six commanders you will have to defeat them and then defeat the black mage or the other way around whichever works best for you for the remnant before you can clear the quest and move on to the next one the commanders you will have to defeat are in the following order von leon aquarium magnus lotus damien will Lucid and Verse Hella. Now, the order in which these are listed are not really necessarily that difficulty. Von Leon and Arcaria Magnus are relatively easy and simple, I guess. But Lotus is obviously way harder than Damien, in my opinion. And Will is way harder than Lucid and Verse Hella. So, they're not really in the order of difficulty. The quest that most people struggle with the most tends to be Will because of Phase 3 and the crazy webs. But once you get past Will, it's basically a free ride. And Vericella is super nice in Genesis Liberation because they take away one of her HP bars. So one of the few times Nexon has been nice to us. Enjoy it while it lasts. Once all 8 quests are completed, you will be able to obtain the full liberated Genesis weapon. And it will be unique potential and bonus potential will be epic. The flame is going to be random and it'll be 22 stored and everything. The Liberated Genesis weapon is really broken and overpowered because one, it is a lucky item, which means it counts for two set effects. For me, I run a three set CRA, hat, top, and bottom, and four set arcane, shoulder, cape, glove, and shoe. But the Genesis weapon makes the set into four set CRA and five set arcane, which means I get the additional boss damage bonus from both sets. Number two, the weapon is fully scrolled and enhanced, and all you have to do is cube it and flame it. How nice is that, honestly? 3. You get 2 awesome skills, one of which is an iframe that lasts for 10 seconds with a 180 second cooldown, and the other is a 15% final damage increase skill that auto triggers every 90 seconds and lasts for 30 seconds. I wish this final damage skill wasn't an auto trigger because it would be a much more powerful skill if I can properly time it with my burst. But Nexon likes to be a pain, and especially for us that are 2 minute classes, the, the skill is not really the best thing for us, honestly. 3 minute classes is kind of you know hit or miss depending on how you time it. If you time it properly, you can actually kill a boss a lot faster. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.